<laughs> Greetings, boys and gits, and welcome again to Dread War Gaming. In this episode, I'm going to be having a little preliminary look at Games Workshop's announcements of uh, Apocalypse. Of course, it's in the title. Uh, the Apocalypse is obviously something that experienced gamers will know already, uh, but for new gamers, this is another new product for you to absorb and I'm going to give my thoughts about it and let you know what I think. So let's get down to it. Let's start with the box itself, like the actual rule set, the game system. So Apocalypse is a, another rule set that allows you to use your existing Warhammer 40,000 army to play big, large scale, post-apocalyptic, epic battles. Now, Warhammer 40,000's core rules should expand to allow you to play that, but they don't. Um, even though it's so thoroughly cut and streamlined now, it still doesn't allow for that. Nor does it allow for playing in small teams that really work. That's why we've got Kill Team, which, there you go. You've got three rule sets for your, for your miniatures. What they're basically saying is, is we're now a publishing company that make rules and we can't be bothered to make miniatures, so use the ones you've already got. And in actual fact, every time we write a new rule set, we're going to put out a box set and we're going to try and sell you the stuff that you've probably already got. Now we're going to rely on pricing strategy to do this, so we're going to offer you about 30% off on these box sets so that you can feel that there's a need to buy them, perhaps, if you don't already have loads of those models already from the decade or however much longer it has been since those models have probably been out. As you can probably tell, I'm a little bit critical of these releases from GW. As far as I see it, they're missed opportunities. I don't mind if they want to make a new rule set for Kill Team and they want to make a rule set for Apocalypse because 40k just doesn't work in any scale other than sort of the middle. That's fine, I can appreciate that. But if you're going to do that and you want to maximise profits, then surely you should be trying to get as many people to buy the products that you release as possible. So with Kill Team, if you wanted to sell to all of the people that had those armies already, don't try and stick a bunch of stuff in a box that they already have without adding some additional bits and bobs. In Kill Team's example, some specialists, components, bits and bobs to add to the sprues that allow the uh, little Kill Team members to actually represent their specialisms. Uh, with Apocalypse, what they should have done is, is if you're going to have a, a big box set for Apocalypse for each army, why not release a new, large, big, daiquiri, killy, armoured unit or something? You know, like, replace the Stomper for us, for example, or the Gork or Morkan, or give us a, a new something to all need to buy that box for. But no, you just fill it with a st bunch of stuff that we've all got plenty of. Well, I won't probably be buying it unless there's a huge saving. Now, we've been told there's likely to be a saving of about a third. So there's about £150 sterling's worth in each box, and they're selling for about £100 sterling, apparently, but that hasn't yet been confirmed. Now, for the Orcs, I might be tempted to buy the box just for the cans and the dreads, the mechs I'll sell. I don't need them. I've got plenty of mechs. And to be honest with you, the cans and the dreads, they are great kits. But when you've done a few of them and you've got a few of them, like, do I really need more? Am I really that bothered? I don't know. Like, kind of forcing my hand to buy it just because at a discount, I'm not really all that bothered. That money at this time in my hobby at the moment, I'd rather spend on something else probably. So it doesn't have enough to make me want to buy it. Had they put a new model in there I, I probably would have bought two and I think that's the way that a lot of other collectors would have felt too because at the end of the day we're model collectors we're not rules collectors we're not interested in keep buying all your bloody publishing yeah it's necessary to play the games because you seem to not be able to ever get it right so it seems that we have to keep buying book after book after book after book to try and play a game with our models you know and I, if you've been following GW products as long as I have, over 20 years, you start to get a bit sick of them not getting it right and spending so much of their time and focus on all of this publishing and naff all time on new models. They're supposed to be 
a modeling gaming company that they, they, they what there are four aspects four that's four that's five there are four aspects <laughs> to this hobby or main aspects of this hobby there are lots of aspects of this hobby don't get me wrong loads in fact you can add terrain straight in there to make your fifth but you've got modeling painting gaming and law right some people i know a guy the guy that lives next door to me he listens to 40k law every day on his way to work he has done for years he knows everything about the law he's obsessed with it he doesn't own uh, actually he does own a few models but he ain't even put them together because i bought him some space walls and he ain't done nothing with them so people are just interested in the law and they're being catered for with all the black library releases people like the game they are being catered for because it's all focused on game at the moment in fact the tournament scene has really taken over and ruined the game as far as i'm concerned and the focus on game dynamic and selling rules is really frustrating for me i'm a modeler if you can't already tell i like to model that is by far the most important thing to me then painting and gaming and then law or maybe gaming and law about the same i don't know but painting's the other aspect too now they're being lazy with painting they're not doing what they used to do they used to do a lot more with regard to painting now yeah sure they've got this channel with duncan talking about painting it's great, it's nice, but they're oversimplifying the painting now. They used to show other styles. They used to show you different ways you can do things. They used to encourage people to try different things and even use other mediums and stuff like that. But now it's all about Games Workshop products, sell, 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 sell. And on that note, I've got a little bit of a concern with regard to these sets and what might come with Apocalypse. So... Some of us were wise enough to use movement trays before Games Workshop announced these new movement trays. So I have my own that I have made or that I have bought and I have modified and made my own. I am quite sure now that you're going to find that it will be a case that if you're playing in a Games Workshop store or Warhammer World or somewhere like that, they're going to say, sorry, you can't come in with those third party or homemade or whatever movement trays they've got to bgw and that sort of lawyering is really grating on me um so yeah i just wanted to share my thoughts i didn't want to make this into too much of a rant i am excited that people are going to be able to play apocalypse um because a lot of people have been waiting for the apocalypse rules to be updated and to be able to play it with the current edition of 40k and all the rest uh, i hope it works well um but then I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna buy it. I'm, I'm really not. I'm not interested in buying the publications anymore. Like I say, um, if I want it, I'll download it. I'm sorry, I'm not supporting that anymore. Um, focus on making bloody models, GW. That's all I have to say for now. I hope you guys like this video. It is a little bit ranty. I didn't want it to be, but it kind of ended up that way. Sorry about that. But please like the video. Share your thoughts in the comments there. And uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching. See you again.